Laser Beam predicts. Laser Beam predicts. It's the greatest show on the internet. Now let's welcome our host, Laser Beam. Yes, thank you. Thank you, my loyal subjects. Thank you for bowing down and praising me. Praise be to Laser Beam, because I am your god. That is right, I have transcended this life, and I am now a deity. Not sure what the fuck I'm talking about, but it's Laser Beam Predicts for NFL Week 10. The greatest show on the internet. The greatest show... Like, it's better than anything on television. I mean, you go on television and listen to Skip Bayless go on fucking talking out his ass for half an hour. Or you can listen to me talk out my ass for half an hour. What's better? If you answer anything but me, I hate you. Alright, remember? Remember what I said about 30 seconds ago? Praise be to Laser Beam, baby. Now, if I look tired and my hair's not done and, like, you know, just clearly run down, it's because Fallout 4 came out and it's a fucking good game. Alright, and speaking of Fallout 4, I think I might wear this the entire video. It might make the audio completely fucking garbage, but none of you can understand what I'm saying anyway, so who fucking gives a shit? Actually not going to wear this at all because you won't be able to hear me. I know I just said it doesn't matter, but it does matter. Because let's be honest, you all come here for my amazing accent. Alright, long live Australia. Alright fellas, let's get into my scores from last week. And I'm going to be honest, I was terrible. I went 6 and 7. Alright, 6 and fucking 7. That is completely garbage. I mean, I just had to go and run my mouth last week like I was so cocky. Watch out, every other predictor. I'm coming for you. There can only be one predictor standing, and it will be me. I will be king of the predictors. I will bathe in their blood. Like, in hindsight, I'm just a fucking idiot. Why, why would I say any of that? That's just, oh, so stupid. All right, always make sure you're a champion before you run your mouth. I mean, yes, I went 6 and 7, and my total score is now, what, 82 and 50. So I still have a good total score, but... What a letdown week. Just so disappointing, guys. So disappointing. Okay, so we got all the depressing stuff out of the way. You know, talking about all my failures, of which there are many. Now it's time to get into my game recaps and my games of the week. And we're going to start with Falcons 49ers. And all I have to say about this one is Blaine Gabbert won a fucking football game. Blaine Gabbert! <laughs> LOL Falcons, you're fucking terrible. You just lost the Blaine Gabbert, guys. Come on. What are you doing? You're supposed to be a winning football team. You started like 5-0 or something. How are you going to lose to Blaine Gabbert? Oh, yeah. No analysis about that one. Just, I thought it was funny as fuck. Blaine Gabbert won a football game. <laughs> Next up, something equally as funny, kind of. Broncos and Colts. Lots of storylines about this game, all right? The Colts absolutely played fantastic, or relatively played fantastic, and they dropped the Broncos from the ranks of the Unbeatens. Obviously, the big one coming from this is, well, Akeem Tlaib poking that guy in the eye, which was a fuckwit move. All right, you used to be on my team, and I used to like you, but now you're an arsehole, so I'm glad you got suspended. And two, Peyton Manning coming within three yards of the passing yards record. All he needed was, like, literally one more play. And he also missed out on the all-time wins record because if they had a one, he would have got that as well. So, man, it's a damn shame, isn't it? Just Peyton not getting a record. I'm just so disappointed, you know? Damn it. Just such a shame. I'm going to lose sleep over that one. <laughs> anyway, yes, big props to the Colts. You played a great game, guys. You should be proud of that one. Oh, wait, you just got news that your starting quarterback is out for two to six weeks, so... Yeah, sucks to be you again. Sorry, guys. So finally, we have Bears and Chargers. And admittedly, didn't watch this football game, so I'm going to be talking out my ass. But really all I want to talk about is poor Philip Rivers. All right, I feel so bad for that guy. Great quarterback. And unfortunately, he's never going to win anything in his career. Never going to win a Super Bowl. Probably never going to win an MVP. It's just... It's disappointing, all right? So yeah, not much game analysis. I just feel bad for Philip Rivers, poor guy. All right, Eli Manning sitting up there with two Super Bowls. Uh, Big Ben's got two Super Bowls, and poor Felipe Rios just has nothing. It's a damn shame. Okay, it is time for the game picks of the week. The bread and butter, the meat and potatoes, the 
testicles of the Laser Beam Prediction Show. I hope you're excited. Let's fucking get into it. First up, we actually have my Laser Beam, Laser Game of the Laser Week, fellas. It's the Buffalo Bills going up against the New York Jets. Rex Ryan's return to New York, and it should be fantastic. He keeps saying it's just another game, but we all know that's fucking bullshit. All right? I actually really want the Buffalo Bills to win, and that's who I'm going to pick, even if it's not the best decision, because I want Rex Ryan to walk up to the podium after the game with just a big old fucking smirk on his face. You know, those pearly white teeth of his. It's just going to be fucking spectacular. So I'm going to take the Buffalo Bills in this one. Hopefully they win, because I want that to come true. Next up, we have the Detroit Lions going up against the Packers. Obviously, the Packers have lost the last two weeks, but the Detroit Lions are still one of the most garbage teams in the league. And this is at Lambeau, I believe, so it ain't going to be a contest. The Packers will beat the Lions. Lock it in. I did just say lock it in, but it's not my laser beam laser lock of the week. That comes later. All right, just calm, calm, you, calm your horses. Okay, Cowboys and Buccaneers. And oh boy, the Cowboys can just not win a football game. Just goes to show how much they need Tony Romo. No wonder that guy's injured all the bloody time. He's really sore from carrying the team on his back fucking 16 weeks a year. So I'm going to take the Buccaneers in this one, fellas. Famous Jameis will get the job done. Panthers and Titans. All right, yes, the Titans had a nice win over the Saints last week. But that doesn't mean anything to me. All right, because the Panthers are undefeated. They beat Green Bay. They beat Seattle. They've played a bunch of great games. So this is my, actually my laser beam, laser lock of the laser week. Pew, 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 guns in the air. All right, the Panthers will dominate the Titans. Lock that one in. All right, laser beam, lock that one in. So we have the Bears and the Rams. Uh, obviously, the Bears aren't the worst team in the league, like I and many other people predicted at the start of the season. And they've actually got a few wins, okay? But I still think the Rams are a better team. They've beaten better opponents. And I think they get it done. I think they beat the Chicago Bears in dominating fashion. Todd Gurley, 200 rushing yards. Okay, maybe that's a bit optimistic, but still, Rams win. Okay, so we have the Saints and the Redskins. Let's do this one pretty quickly. Uh, obviously, the Saints lost last week, and the Redskins relatively put up a good fight against the Patriots, but I predict the Saints get it done against the Redskins in Washington. Dolphins and Eagles. All right, the Dolphins appear to be back to being a terrible football team, and the Eagles, they're kind of good. Occasionally, they're good. I predict we're going to get the good Eagles, and I predict they beat the Dolphins. Browns and Steelers, uh, Big Ben's out again. So is Le'Veon Bell, so not exactly sure what the Steelers are going to do. But then again, they are going up against the Browns. This is actually a toss-up for me, guys, but I'm going to take Cleveland. I always want good things to happen to the Browns, all right? So I predict the Browns win this one. Shaguars and Ravens, not sure how to pick this one, but... I'm going to raise my Bortles this week, guys. Raise my Bortles. Blake Bortles is going to beat the Ravens. Vikings and Raiders, two teams that have sort of climbed out of the dumpster. All right, they're actually both pretty good this year. And I'm going to take the Raiders in this one, guys. All right, I predict Carr to Amari Cooper. It's just going to be too potent for the Vikings to stop. Patriots and Giants. Yes, this brings back some terrible memories for me, but my sight is clear. I believe the Patriots will beat the Giants even if the Giants are at home, Eli's magic will not work a third time. Chiefs and Broncos. Uh, yes, the Broncos went from the ranks of the unbeatens. Yes, they're still going to have a keep to lead because I believe he's appealing his suspension. So they are at full strength. What? You know, I'm feeling something. I'm going to introduce a new segment. All right, the laser beam laser upset of the laser week. I think the Chiefs beat the Broncos. All right, they came close a few weeks ago. And this time, I feel like they come out on top. All right, even if it is in Denver. All right, even if it is at mile high. The Chiefs are going to win. All right, the laser beam laser upset the laser week. I just wanted to do the laser sounds again. Pew, pew. Okay, so Cardinals and Seahawks, a battle of NFC West rivals. Should be a bloody good game. But I don't know. All right, it's a bit of a toss-up for me. I, th I think the Cardinals get it done, even if it is in Seattle with the 12s going, or whatever stupid noises they make. All right, I think the Cardinals win this one, guys. Yeah. All right, final game, and I'm going to do this one with the Fallout mask on because I really wanted to do this before, but I couldn't do it. 
All right, so we have we have the Texans and the Bengals, and this one should be an absolute laugher. All right, I think Andy Dalton throws for five touchdowns, and they absolutely destroy the Texans. All right, so Bengals over Texans. Yes, the Texans are my second favorite team, and it'll be heartbreaking, but you fucking live with it. They're terrible. How'd that go? Could you understand a word? Probably not. My apologies. But what I said was Bengals over Texans. All right, guys. Well, that is Laser Bean Predicts for another week. I'm going to go back to playing Fallout because it's fun as all donkey dick. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your predictions in the comments. As always, I can't respond to them, but I do read them. I'll... Sorry, excuse me. I just burped. I like to know what you're thinking. And also follow me on Twitter. All right. At Lannan CS. All right. Keep up with all the bullshit I say on the internet. And yes, I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the fucking like button. You're all a bunch of bloody legends. And I'll see all you fellas later. All right. Cheers, fellas.